In this presentation, we're going to look at the Mahalanobis distance. Now, Mahalanobis is was a very famous Indian statistician, I believe. Uh, uh, pardon me if that's not actually how you pronounce his name. Anyway, uh, so Mahalanobis. So essentially, what we have here is a scatter plot. Okay, and I'm using this because it's sort of two-dimensional space, okay, and nice and easy to visualize. But actually, it doesn't actually have to be two-dimensional space. It could be n-dimensional space, okay. It's just I'm using two-dimensional space so we can get a proper sense of what we're looking at, but it actually can expand this out into n-dimensional space. So essentially what we have here is a scatter plot, and what you might think is, yeah, that looks like the scatter plot, what we learn in statistics. So what I'm going to just to sort of remark upon here is that we have a sort of trend, is that there's a sort of correlation, okay? So covariance, okay, or correlation effect going on, okay? So essentially, we, it's sort of relatively strong a positive linear relationship between these two variables y and x okay that's important so it's correlation now the sort of component of correlation is covariance which is a sort of measure the strength of the relationship between y and x so um yeah so essentially what we have here is what we're going to do is sort of let's just uh, put this uh a perimeter around this okay so this green line here is a perimeter okay and it's an ellipsoid okay so what you might I'm actually just going to first off concentrate on the fact that it's an ellipsoid okay so that's how we would actually commonly sort of refer to this it actually got accidentally deleted some of it there so essentially let's just ignore the uh, confidence part here it's an ellipsoid an ellipse so essentially it's a sort of perimeter um, uh, around the um, our, our, our main set of data points okay now something that is often closely connected to the Mahalanobis distance is this matter of a confidence ellipsoid a confidence a confidence ellipsoid is essentially a confidence interval for two-dimensional space okay or n-dimensional space. You can have n-dimensional ellipsoids. In fact, a confidence interval is just a, a confidence interval uh, on the number line is essentially just a special case of a confidence ellipsoid. Actually, that's a good way of looking at it. Okay. So essentially, what would happen here is let's just say 95% confidence ellipsoid is that we're 95% sure that the mean is in that area. That's essentially 95% of the data should be expected to be there or something like that. That's not actually how we. Can, um, that's not the proper interpretation of the, the second part there, but it's a sort of rough guess. This is where we uh, the confidence ellipsoid is where we expect the data to be mostly. So anyway, it's a perimeter, okay? So uh, this is and uh, it's sort of the the mathematical components of sort of computing this perimeter are essentially the variance and covariance of y and x, okay? That's very important. the The perimeter is essentially based on uh, the variance and covariance. of x and y okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down a little bit okay so in our the center here we have this red point which is the, uh, the center of the ellipsoid okay and I'm just going to call this O this point here O okay now I'm going to have two more points here I'm going to have a point here and I'm going to call it A and a point just here right at the top B okay so essentially what we're going to look at here is if you've done a coordinate geometry in school uh, you might sort of think well the distance from O to A uh, distance from O to A is pretty short uh, and it would be less than the distance from O to B okay now that's what we sort of might have learned in school, okay? So, uh, that being just the distances, okay? Very simple distances. Now these would be called Euclidean distances, okay? Or that's what we would sort of properly refer to that as, Euclidean distances, okay? Now, let's just look at this again. So that's essentially Euclidean distance is just the, as the crow flies, so to speak, there to there, okay? Now, let's just sort of think about this for a second. Uh, what are we looking at exactly? Okay, let's have a think about this. 
B is sort of uh, a little bit further away than, from O, the origin, but B, by the same token, it still sort of accords, it still sort of conforms very much with the correlation structure of our data here. Okay, now this is the idea of the Mahalanobis distance. Okay, it, it takes into account correlation or covariance uh, correctly, covariance, but let's just say correlation because it's easy, easier to visualize. Well, or correlation because it's, it's, it's people are more familiar with it when they come from undergraduate statistics. Uh, so it's, it's, it's actually very much what we sort of expect the data to do. So it's essentially, it's sort of, uh, it sort of respects, closely respects the sort of overall relationship between x and y okay so and it actually would you know f follow very closely to what our expectation of y should be given that you know we have a high value of x okay so b is to be expected it's very very, very conventional in terms of what we expect now let's counterpoint this with a okay now we remember we said that the euclidean distance is very short but from the origin but like the where A is there, it's outside our perimeter, and it sort of seems to be a bit of an outlier, okay? And it does not accord with our, um, like, supposition about the relationship between Y and X. Not, not to the same extent B does, okay? So you might notice that there's a connection there between Y, B is just inside the perimeter as far as we're concerned, and A is outside the perimeter, okay? So this is what the Mahalanobis distance does. It actually takes into account correlation, okay? Now there's a little mathematical formula for it. Now I'm not going to get into the mathematical formula for it. It's essentially just to sort of explain why the Mahalanobis distance is different from the Euclidean distance, okay? It's essentially correlation does, how does that point fit in to the overall data given the correlation and covariance between the, the variables, okay? So in this case, what we're going to sort of say here is as far as the Mahalanobis distance is concerned, okay, we'll just call the Mahalanobis distance, we'll call that MD, okay? So we'll just MD for point A, now it's in relation to the origin, okay? is greater than MD for B, okay? So it's a sort of varying degrees of uh, distances, and essentially, uh, like, it's all based on how much they agree with the overall covariance or correlation between X and Y. Okay, so that's the idea of the Mahalanobis distance. So the, the distance, the Mahalanobis distance of A relative to the origin, is much uh, greater than the Mahalanobis distance of B greater with respect to the origin, okay? Even though that sort of the reverse case is what we see from the Euclidean distances, okay? So that's the general gist of the Mahalanobis distance. Now, we're not going to calculate it. Usually you'd use this in statistical software and it would be able to calculate the Mahalanobis distance for you very easily. Okay, and going back to confidence intervals, it's the sort of the Mahalanobis distance or confidence ellipses is that it, it would use you would probably use those distances to compute the uh, confidence ellipsoids.